Welcome back to Morgan and Ritchie's, where today I will tell you about the history of the pillow. In 7000 BCE, Iraq made the first pillow. Nowadays, pillows are something to rest your head on and relax. That wasn't the real purpose of this pillow, as it was more for raising your head to stop bugs and insects from crawling inside. Back then, it was made out of stone, and stone was quite expensive, so it was reserved for wealthy citizens. In 2005 BCE, the ancient Egyptians had the same idea, but their version was made from wood and had carved gods onto it, a sign of good luck. China's version, however, was different from both countries, being made from porcelain rather than wood or stone. This pillow was said to bring good fortune and wealth. Romans and Greeks finally invented the pillow of today using reed, cotton, only the wealthiest get down feathers for their pillows. The pillow remained the same until the Middle Ages when people could not afford pillows. Henry VIII even banned pillows. The change to the pillow that made it a household name was in the Victorian era, where pillows, along with proper beds, became affordable. There were also changes to the design, as they changed to be smaller than the ones slept on by the Middle Ages. Now, what is the future for the pillow? Right now, the new pillow is called the Smart Pillow, with more than 17 features. These include sleep tracker, alarm, downloadable music, meditation guide, audiobooks, sound conditioner, blue light technology and even more. See how these small things have come such a long way.